I'm here at the Double Point booth at CES Unveiled and we're checking out the Wow Mouse app for Wear OS smartwatches. So what this essentially does is it lets you use your Android smartwatch as a Bluetooth mouse. And one of the cool use cases we're seeing here at the booth is using the watch to control the light. So this is a Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 that I have on my wrist that has the app installed. And you'll notice that once I start to turn my wrist, I can turn the lights on or off just by tilting my wrist a certain way. It kind of works like a dimmer. So if I tilt my hand this way, the lights will dim and then they kind of get brighter as I go the other way. Now we are on a demo floor, so there are a lot of devices interacting, but I have tried this demo a couple of times and it, it's been pretty responsive. But the major use case of the app that more people would be using it for because this is kind of what the app is meant to do. This light use case kind of takes a bit more finagling, but what the app will do when you download it, right as soon as you open it on your wrist, you'll be able to set it up as a Bluetooth mouse for a computer. So if you have a laptop that you want to be able to control remotely and you don't want to be able, you don't want to actually use your mouse or maybe you're controlling a computer that's at a distance, you can set this up to be its own Bluetooth mouse. So we're going to check that out now as well. So this is the Bluetooth mouse functionality for the laptop that I mentioned before. So all I have to do is hit the video and tap my fingers together and press play. And then if I tap them together again, I can pause it. And so this could be really useful, I think, if you're watching YouTube or something and your tablet's far away or maybe it's propped up somewhere, you're laying in bed and you don't want to reach for it every time you want to pause something. Right now, scrolling isn't supported, but the team is working on that to bring that to the app at some point. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend it for browsing websites from afar, but I do think if you have a really simple command, again, like playing and pausing that you want to be able to do without actually touching the device, I feel like this is something that it could really come in handy. And it's pretty responsive overall. I do feel like sometimes I have to be very precise on what I'm trying to manipulate. So for example, this works great on a big area like a YouTube video, because you have a lot of space where you can click, but it is a bit harder to focus on individual buttons. Although it does work, as you can see, I'm hovering over all of these buttons. And if I wanted to skip to the next video or something, I can, I can do that. But it is a bit harder to control really small, fine buttons like this. But again, if you're watching something and you want to be able to play and pause, I definitely see the promise there. And once again, this is the Wow Mouse app from Double Point that we're checking out at CES. Don't forget to follow CNET for more coverage of the show.